for this effect, I can start off by showing the participant on top of the deck, I have the ace, two, three, and four of spades. So now I would explain, I'm going to riffle my thumb down the side of the deck, and they just call out stop. So let's say they call out stop here. So in this case, the card that you stop on is the nine of spades, and if the participant would like, they can also put their signature on the card, but that's not necessary. So now they will call out stop one more time. Let's say right here, I place their card right where they call stop, and they can push it in. So now I would ask the participant to name a number one, two, three, or four, and the ace would count as one. However, because I don't have a participant, I'm going to use a Siri and see if Siri names a number. So let's see if this works. Name a number one through five. And in this case, this is the number Siri names, which happens to be one. So one would actually be the ace. So I'm going to take the ace and leave it right there. <clears throat> I'm going to take the two, put it under the three, and you can see the two comes to the top. I'm going to take the three, put it under the four, the three comes to the top. I'm going to take the four, the participant calls stop. We place it right there. You can see the four comes to the top meaning the ace is going to do a special trick. So if I wave my hand over, snap my fingers, the ace should have turned into your card, the nine of spades. And that is the effect. If you would like to learn how to do this, stick around for the tutorial. The cards that I'm using for today are the bicycle emoji. I have a deck review on these. I will link that in the description. So for this effect, there is a slight setup, but you can do this without a setup, which is actually really nice. So all you're going to need is the ace, two, three, and four of any suit. Now you can start off how I did with having this on top of the deck, or you can have a participant name a suit, and then you can go through and take out the ace through four. The only thing is, when the cards are face down, you want the ace on top, followed by the two, three, and four. I place this on top of the deck, and I am all set. So, you start off, and your participant is already going to know that you have the ace, two, three, and four on top of the deck. So, you can either begin by showing them, or if you pull them out, they can obviously see what you have. You're going to put them face down on top of the deck, and now you're going to have a card selected. When you have that card selected and controlled, you want it to end up on top of the deck but on top of your setup here. So how I did this was by a center double lift. You can do this however you would like. I will leave a link for the center double in the description. So they riffle down, or I riffle down, they call stop, and I show them that they landed on the seven of diamonds. They can also sign it. I turn it over. They call stop one more time, and we place their card in the middle. So now what you have on top is their card. Because of that double lift, all you did was you just added one extra card on top. So there's that secret. So you have the seven, ace, two, three, and four, just like this on top of the deck. <clears throat> And now you have them name a number, and while you do this, you're going to spread off the top four cards, and you say, okay, name a number one, two, three, or four, and ace is going to count as one. And I just took off the top four cards, 
Now this is actually their selection followed by ace through three. The four is over here. Now it doesn't matter what they name, but let's go through each of the possibilities. So like the performance, if they happen to name ace, you say, okay, I'm going to place the ace on the table. It's not really the ace. The ace is over here now on top of the deck, but the ace is going to do the entire effect for you. As you say, okay, we're going to take the two. It's not really the two, but if you say this is the ace, then this has to be the two. So the two under the three, and the two comes to the top. Now we're going to take the 3 under the 4, like that, and the 3 comes to the top. And now with the 4, this isn't a 4, something you can do is you can actually bury it really low in the deck, push it in all the way, and show the 4 has come to the top. This is going to be whatever number they name. Then you can say the ace is going to do a special trick. You snap your fingers and the ace has changed into their selection. Now, if they happen to name number two, here's what you do. You say, okay, we're going to take the ace, put it under the two. It's now on top. We're now going to leave the two on the table. It's that selection. So now we're going to take the three. So here's the two under the four. Okay, the three comes to the top. And now we can take that 4, bury it somewhere in the middle, and you can push it in all the way. I'm just not gonna. It comes to the top. The 2 does a special effect, and it rises to the top. If they happen to name number 3, here's what you can do. So you say, okay, we're going to take the ace under the 2. The ace is on top. And keep in mind, all you did was you just put their selection under the ace. So now we're going to take the 2 under the 3. The 2 comes to the top. We're going to leave the 3 on the table. And now we're going to bury the 4. And as you can see, the 4 is not even going to show up because it's on top. The 3 does a special trick and it changes into your card. Finally, if they happen to name number four, here's what you do. So you say, okay, we're going to take the ace, bury it under the two, comes to the top. We're going to take the two, bury it under the three, comes to the top. We're going to take the three under the four, comes to the top. And now you just say, let's leave the four there. But now the 4 is on top over here. We do a special trick. Snap your fingers. And that card changes into the 4. And that is the effect. <clears throat> so I hope you really enjoyed this one. If you are new here, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you next time with a new video. Bye.